that's kind of interesting behavior the motor is running back and forth in speed quite good you see this on oscilloscope it is so looking quite nice So motors are really quite interesting thing but when you do it the fastest way so on to this breadboard i have set up my high speed motor circuit which is consist of this n channel mosfet which is mdp 18950 and uh, here is my hall effect sensor which detects the magnetic field of my rotating ball this is two color led which have blue and green light blue light shows that there is no magnet is detected onto this sensor green light means there is magnet detected so let me show you what i mean so here is neodymium magnets and as you can see now it doesn't detect the north pole but it does detect the south pole and while doing so this sensor will turn on this mosfet and provide a current through this coil now this coil is 32 gauge copper coil i have wound it uh, about 50 times and that's it and inside it is just plastic cap to hold the magnetic ball so let's just turn on the motor and see how it works so as a rotor i have bunch of this neo balls lying around so i'm going to use these neodymium magnet balls as a rotor so i have put it this neodymium magnet ball into this coil and uh, when we just put this coil nearby the sensor it will just start rotating so here we have our holipex sensor on to this bottom corner and uh, here we have our coil and i have probed this coil on to this oscilloscope so as you can see when we put the coil nearby the magnetic sensor it will just start rotating and uh, as you can see on to the upper corner the frequency is uh, 22 kilohertz and let me just fix it in quite a good position to get higher speed so as you can see friends it is now 1.5 and oscillating between 1.5 and 2 megahertz so it is spinning quite fast and it does getting warm actually now it is 1.2 megahertz so it's spinning quite fast you can see you can also turn this motor on by putting this sensor on to upward side sometimes you need to just kick start the motor by doing so and on to the led if you have noticed that when current flows it kind of gets greenish and it just shades the color between blue and green
this sensor can run from quite a long distance actually 2 cm can run also you can see the closer you get the higher speed the motor can run also the distance between and coil and this ball does matter it is now possibly closest now it is 2.1 megahertz in between so let's just do some test with it That's kind of interesting behavior. The motor is running back and forth in speed. Quite good. To see this on oscilloscope is so looking quite nice. Whoa. So right now I am going to use this cap and you can see the difference. It is not kind of stabilizing but when you get into real this point I am feeling quite a good friction onto my fingers so this motor has reached up to 2.1 megahertz at its peak speed and uh, let me know what do you think about this nice little motor and Please subscribe to my channel for another kind of videos like this and thanks for watching. Goodbye and peace. The circuit is now turned on and into the simulation the current is started flowing from this PNP transistor which turned on this NPN transistor and we get power into our LED strip